Hello everyone, I am back making videos, so if you watched any of my previous stuff, you might have seen that life got a bit crazy for me, you know, with family and university and all of that stuff, but that is all finished, I am back, and today I'm doing a video on this patch for the Xbox 360 that could potentially allow up to 16 terabytes, uh, hard drives with 16 terabytes worth of storage to be used natively. This is really cool and the reason I say potentially is the patch isn't out yet and the guy working on it is testing with a four terabyte hard drive so we're not sure about the actual maximums that this is going to allow but we have been told that it will allow it, it could it could allow up to 16 terabytes which is really fucking cool um if you don't if you don't know why this is uh, a really cool thing uh, the Xbox 360 and the PS3 sort of have a hard cap of two terabytes on the uh, hard drives because of the way they format it. Which, uh, while, while they were out, was fine because you couldn't really put much on those hard drives. You could download games to them, but those games weren't really that big. You couldn't, they, never designed, they were never designed for um, to uh, do what we do with them now, like uh, rip your games to them, store, video, store large amounts of videos or music, which we do nowadays. So, you take that... You take only being able to use two terabytes, and you take the size of the games, and the amount of games that people are storing, and you run out of space really quickly. So people like me have been kind of getting around this by having a central uh, storage server, which we back all the games up to, and then just load the games on we want when we want to play them. Now this is an alright workaround. For the original Xbox, it works fantastic because it has a built-in FTP client, not server, client, so I can manage the games on the console. But for consoles like the Xbox 360 and the PS3, it's not all that useful because you've got to get on your computer and then move them from the compute, move from the storage server to the computer and the computer to the console, and it's just it's it's just all a lot of a hassle. But now, what this guy's saying, who's working on this, is it will bump up the maximum uh, storage capacity of a single drive to 16 terabytes. So, if you were an absolute madman and you really wanted to you could add 48 terabytes of storage to your Xbox 360, which is just insane. So, from what, because uh, I've read through all of this, and what, uh, what the basis of how this works is it patches the Xbox 360's kernel, uh, the part of it that deals with USB mass storage, which is your hard drives and uh, uh, USB sticks, to use SCSI commands. Now, if you don't know what SCSI is, um, it's... It's basically a protocol, like SATA or NVMe, and the commands for SCSI uh, work in a way which allows the Xbox to see and utilize well beyond the 2 terabyte mark, unlike the SATA commands which it's built with. That's a very, very, like, high level, sorry, uh, well, depending how you look at it, high level, low level, you know, very basic explanation of how that works, because... I'm not 100% sure why this is a thing that does work, and I'm quite familiar with this type of hardware and all that sort of stuff. So, but you, don't need, you don't need to know any of that. Uh, from what I understand, the way it's going to work is you apply the patch with your XE build, which basically means when you flash the NAND of your console, you'll apply the patch then. Now, you can't do it with dash launch because the patches would be applied too late during the boot process, as he says here. So it will have to be done when you flash land on your console. So if you've already if you've got a console that's modded now, you will have to take um, you'll have to take it apart and reflash the land to do it, which is a bit of a bitch. Which means I probably won't be doing it for a while because of all the hassle I had with my RGH Xbox 360, and it is working now and it's working beautifully. So I don't really want to mess with it. But sometime in the future, I probably will be doing this, mainly for the fact of how cool it is. Now, one of the things he does say. Uh, do, 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 where is it? Uh, uh, he does say it somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Uh, the additional storage... Well, basically, will this patch work for the internal SATA drives? There are differences for the internal SATA drives that, need to, that he says need to be worked through. But... It, it, it doesn't look like it's high priority. He does say there does not appear to be any hard drives larger than 2 terabyte that would fit technically true yes i can't think of any actual hard drives in the two and a half inch 
form factor that will fit for the Xbox 360. However, SSDs, you can get four terabyte SSDs that will fit in the Xbox 360. So maybe in the future, maybe in the future we might see it for the internal hard drive, but not right now. Um, and another thing to take note about this is drives under two terabytes might not work anymore once you've applied this patch. Again, this is due to how the this is due to how the um, the SCSI commands work. It's out because it, if you think about it this way, right? If you have a small car and you stick a big engine in it, in some ways it's going to work a lot better, and in other ways it's not going to work at all. So it, it's a sort of similar thing what they're doing here. He's, he's taking a command set that is theoretically compatible, like pushing it into the Xbox 360, like duct taping it shut, and getting a working result. Problem is that the, it makes it a bit flaky for stuff that this patch isn't designed to work with. But I don't see uh, I don't see why this couldn't be sorted later on down the line. Once he's got um, the larger hard drives working, I don't see how I don't see why he wouldn't be able to make smaller hard drives work as well, because drives smaller than two terabytes are compatible with SCSI, just in a broad sense. So, but overall, this is a very cool. Uh, it's just it's just a very cool thing. And here's the uh, images that he shows, basically as proof that it's working. So you can see there. There's the 500 gigabyte internal hard drive, and then there's a four terabyte uh, ex external one. And if you scroll down again, yeah, free space, all in here. There we go. And then in XEX menu. Is this going to open up properly? Yep, there. Sorry about that, I just got uh, cut off, but just to uh, round out the video, as we can see, this is XEX menu, uh, with it loaded up and showing US over USB 0, uh, a device with 3.725.99 gigabytes worth of storage with 0.01 used. That is pretty much a 4 terabyte hard drive after formatting overhead and everything, so yeah. This is insanely cool, and everything I've talked about, it, this, everything I've talked about, should really ex explain why this is very cool and why I am super excited for this to come to the Xbox 360. Because I've, I'm, well, I'm building up quite a large um, Xbox 360 game collection again, and the 250 gig hard drive that I've got installed currently is not big enough. So I'm probably going to get that swapped out soonish, uh, because I've only got like 30 gigs left on it. So that's only a few more games because you've got to leave a bit of space on hard drives and stuff for uh, shit to be moved around. So I've got to get an, I've got to get a uh, new drive for it, and being able to slot in a stonking great 16 terabyte hard drive would be really fucking cool. So I am really hyped for this, and that's basically all I've got to say. I will keep you guys up to date with what's happening with uh, this sort of this patch as I learn more. Um, in other news, expect some more videos coming from me soon. Um, I want to do a... I've recently been uh, out game hunting, so I want to do a pickups video soon, hopefully. Hopefully I can sort. I can get everything sorted out, because my camera, I need to get some new batteries for it and everything. But I really want to do that. There's also some other news that I uh, want to cover on the channel. So if any of this sounds good, check back in or hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video hit the like button. I want to thank you all so much for watching and I really do hope to see you in the next video. Adios.